Let us gather our hearts and minds in the fellowship of prayer. Let us pray. You, O oh God, are the one who does not grow weary. You do not lose heart. We, we are your people. We are fragile and we are frayed. We are in need of strength and patience, of resolve and grace. And so this day, gathered before you and joined by a broad company of faithful souls around the globe, we offer you our prayers. We bring before you the concerns that weigh heaviest on our hearts, O oh God. This day we pray with the church throughout all time and in every space. We pray, shine on us, O oh Christ. For we are before you in our need, and we lay before you the suffering of a world weary with war and wrapped in wrong. We pray, shine on us, O Christ. We fervently pray for those innocents who are caught in the crosshairs of violence whose very lives are at stake, whose futures hang in the balance. We are distressed by sights of families who mourn inexplicable loss. We are undone by countless victims whose faces we will never see in the headlines. Oh God, we pray this day for your beloved children who call Ukraine their home. whose safety is now threatened and whose land is under invasion. We pray to the tips of our toes for a ceasing of violence and a rallying toward peace. We pray that you would give leaders of every nation a clear sense of your presence, your will for a just peace for security for all your children. We are bold to pray that you would change the hearts and thwart the designs of those who intend evil, those who provoke hatred. Turn aggressors from the madness of war and humble them in your almighty presence. Radiate our entrenched division and our petty disputes, our complicity and silence, the ease with which we ignore suffering when it is not seen as our own. As we take in the cascade of heartbreaking news, teach us, empower us, challenge us, give us courage to turn from even the sin of apathy, to repent our failure to speak and act with your compassion. Give us humble hearts to listen to the voices of the suffering. We offer our prayers this day for those whose needs are crushing our neighbors who face violence in their own homes, all who fear an uncertain future. We pray for those who are sick and those who are dying. We pray for those in this community and beyond who are grieving difficult loss, who this day feel the sting of absence where once there was loving presence. May they find comfort and peace in your promise. We trust that you beyond us are God. And so we pray that you will empower us this day to be your people. May our words arise from a sense of your will. May our actions be filled with your love. 
pray for this church that we would be a mirror of your grace, that we would follow the shining one who tore down dividing walls, who crossed boundaries to invite all into lives of abundance and purpose. And so in these quiet moments, teach us again your way of peace. Remind us again that our lives are held in your hands. Rescue us again from the captivity of our pride and the tyranny of our fear. Rekindle in us again the hope that you are the one who remakes the world and renews every weary soul. Shine on us, O Christ. For this day we commit afresh to be your people who march only to the cadence of prayerful words, raising voices as did your first disciples to pray as you taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.